Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have a card featuring new stamps and dies from the Reason to Smile release from Simon Says Stamp, and this is the Friendship Blooms Stamps and Dies. I used a little bit of Distress Ink watercoloring on these embossed stamped images to create a really pretty floral prayers card. To start, I'm going to use a powder tool on some watercolor cardstock and then stamp the blooms, the stems, leaves, and butterfly from the Friendship Blooms stamp set on this watercolor cardstock. It's a little hard to see, so I stamped only one or two images at a time and then went ahead and sprinkled on the Simon Says Stamp white fine detail embossing powder so that I could see where I had already stamped and then I went ahead and stamped more images. I was able to get almost everything on this scrap of watercolor cardstock. I did end up stamping an additional stem and leaf to use with the um, finished card design. I felt like I really needed an additional one since I had three of these really pretty flowers. And then I needed another leaf to round out the little bundle of flowers. So I'll just keep stamping these images until I have everything and then I will sprinkle on the white embossing powder and I'm going to take that over and heat that up with my Hero Arts heat blending or heat gun and then I can start applying some Distress Ink watercolor to these images. One of the things I love best about the embossing and then doing watercoloring is the embossed lines are going to hold that ink inside of each of these little wells it kind of ends up being. So with a regular stamped line you might have some bleeding where the ink will go over the edge of the outline with embossing you're going to get a lot less than that. So I simply pressed my ink pads to an acrylic block. If you have the markers instead you could just rub those on the block and then with a damp not a sopping wet but just a damp paintbrush I started painting in the leaves with the Twisted Citron and Mowed Lawn inks. And then if it wasn't blending out enough I would just pull in a little bit of additional water to get those colors moving a little bit better. And you can see how easy it is to color in these images within those embossed lines. I'm going to color in the stems exactly the same way before moving on to the florals. The flowers are all done in the squeezed lemonade and spiced marmalade distress inks. You could see I laid down the squeezed lemonade first and then took a little bit of the spiced marmalade and laid that down. If it's not moving very much, the colors aren't um, blending together real well, you can just take a little additional water and lay it in. So as I was working, I would kind of move my way back and maybe pull in a little bit more water just to blend the colors even more. The flowers really come to life as you start applying all of this water. You could definitely do these in several different colors if you wanted to, or go much, much lighter by applying less ink and more water. You get a completely different look with a um, very, very light hand with those inks. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other flower design exactly the same. I stamped two of that first flower I did and then one of the other bloom, but I'm going to color it just like I did the first one. As the ink starts to dry, you can see in the leaves and the flower that I did first that you start getting some of those really great kind of pools of water where the two ink colors uh, kind of blend together a little bit and it gives that great watercolored look. So I'll go ahead and color this last bloom very similar to the first one. 
The great thing about this design or this uh, technique as well is no two blooms are going to look exactly the same. They have the same colors, but every time you color them, they're going to be so different because the watercoloring is just very organic and looks different every single time that you do it. Now I am going to set this aside to completely air dry. If you want to speed it up, you could definitely hit it with a heat tool. The butterfly is going to be colored in the picked raspberry and seedless preserves. Now I'm laying down the picked raspberry first, a little bit darker, closer to the body of the butterfly, and then getting my paintbrush wet and pulling that pink ink out so the butterfly tips of the wings are much lighter. And then I colored in the little spots on the butterfly with the seedless preserves ink and then the body of the butterfly with black soot. Black soot. Once these images are completely dry, I'm taking the Coordinating Friendship Blooms dies, and I'm gonna tape those over the images with a little post-it tape so that they don't shift as I run them through the Big Shot die cutting machine. I will have to run it through multiple times to die cut multiple leaves and stems, but I try to Cut as many with one pass of the machine as possible. So I'll pull my big shot here into the frame and go ahead and die cut these images. Then I will go ahead and use any of those dies that I need to use again. I'll go ahead and just take that tape, tape them back in place and run it through as many times as needed to get all of the pieces for my card. Next, I am gonna work on the background of my card. When I was designing this, I really wanted the flowers to be the focal point. Because of this, I didn't want a plain white background. I considered it, I considered just putting these on a plain white background, but then I decided a textured tone-on-tone -tone white background would be really cool. So what I ended up doing is taking a die cut stitched rectangle panel created with the Simon Says Stamp stitched rectangle dies. This is the largest size from that collection. I'm gonna use post-it tape to mask off the edges of my rectangle from that stitching line to the edge. You wouldn't have to do this if you don't want to. I just wanted it to look a little bit more framed up in the finished design. Then I'm taking the stencil grid and some white embossing paste and using a palette knife, I am going to kind of messily apply my embossing paste to this. I do not want to completely cover it. I wanted some of those areas where the embossing paste doesn't completely cover that square, but I want most of this panel to have some embossing paste. So I'm purposely kind of using a light hand and then I'm gonna pick that up and you can see all those little areas where no embossing paste is. Then I'm gonna go clean that really, really well. And then once it was dry, I peeled off the post-it tape and I can work on the rest of the card design. On a scrap piece of vellum, I'm stamping a greeting from the Friendship Blooms stamp set using Versamark ink and heat embossing with white powder then I'll simply trim that into a strip that I can lay over the design. This is a Simon Says Stamp Top Fold Note Card. I love them, they're already scored, all you have to do is fold them in half. And what I ended up doing was taking my greeting strip and I'm gonna take the tiny attacher and staple this in place on either side of the greeting and then I'll flip it over and trim off any of that excess vellum. I like to keep it long just in case. That way I can position the greeting exactly where I need to. And on the back of this panel, I applied foam adhesive and attached it to my card base. And then using a zig glue pin, I am going to start attaching all of my die cut pieces. Now to make sure these stick really well with the liquid adhesive, 
as I'm working, I'm going to put something heavy on top to hold that glue down until it dries really well. Because you can see that flower I already glued down, but it popped right off when I attached the leaf. So I'm going to attach all my pieces, and I worked pretty quickly so that I could still kind of move things around if I had to. But once I have everything in place, I am going to go ahead and put quite a few acrylic blocks on top of everything to hold it all down until it dries completely. And it only really takes a few minutes. Go ahead and add that last leaf and my floral. And then I have the butterfly that I'll attach up there and I'll finish with a scattering of Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequins to finish off this really pretty prayers floral themed card. You could definitely change this up by just switching out the greeting you use. There are two other great greetings in this Friendship Blooms stamp set and it would be a completely different greeting card just by changing out the greeting. Thanks for watching this video showcasing new stamps and dies from the Simon Says Stamp Reason to Smile release. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Here are a couple more videos you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.